So I'm making a quick little video here because I am replacing the wheels on one of the robot vacuums we have. We have a bunch of these, including one in our shop, and they're worn out. So this is a 3D printer replacement. I'm going to go through tearing this down, replacing these, and we're going to see how it runs with it. Because right now, the current wheels, the teeth are so worn down that it just skips and it doesn't drive right. So um, we're going to get into this thing. This is a Neato BotVac D6. I've got the D3, the D5, D6, D7s. They all take the same parts. So if you guys have one of these older Neato BotVacs, I'm going to post a link to the tire tread and the wheel itself in the video description. And we're going to see how this works out. But it looks pretty dang good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's get into this thing. So if you guys have one of these, uh, these are actually probably my favorite robot vacuums, RIP Neato. These are pretty easy to get into. So I'm gonna take the dustbin out and you're gonna just pull up on the bumper here. You can do it on the front left or right and it just comes off like this. You're gonna need a T10 Torx bit to get in here. So there's two screws on the top. And I do want to mention that you do typically need a security bit, especially on the newer D6 and D7, and I believe the D4s, the D3s, the D5s, and the D7s typically have no security screws, but the security screw bits work fine. This is just a cheap set I got, specifically because I needed some of the longer handle to reach down into the bottom part, because my precision screwdriver set, while I have the security bits, the extension is actually too wide to get down into the bottom. So we're gonna flip this over. And we're gonna take out the two screws on the rear back here. There's two screws right here, one here and there. And the nice thing is these are all the same screws. So you do not have to remember what goes where. You can just take them out. I would recommend pulling the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and take the battery cover off. And then take the battery out, pull it up like this, and there's a little clip on this side, push and pull up, and it comes out just like that. Now we need to take the little brush off, if yours has a brush, the D3 and the D4 do not have a brush. Lift this out, take your brush out, and if you got some buildup, like hair and stuff, it likes to accumulate, go ahead and clean this off. And then we're going to take out two more screws in the middle here. So one here and then one up here, as well as two in these wells in the front here and here. Now all the screws are out. I've got like all the little debris cleaned up. So when we put it back together, it's cleaner. Go ahead and flip it over. Mm -hmm. And then on the front, you'll have these two tabs, one here and here. You just gently press in with your fingers and it'll lift up. You do not need to pry this. I've gotten units like these where people have like gouged the crap out of these. You just push it up and it comes off like this. 
Now, we're almost into where we need to go. We need to get these two drive wheels out here. We need to take the LiDAR unit out to do this because we have to lift this whole base up here. And you can see the LiDAR holds it in. So there's four screws for the LiDAR. And these are actually the same screws as the bottom, so you don't need to make sure they go any specific location. And we're going to want to disconnect all the cables. Be very careful. Be very careful with this flex cable here. You just push out the sides here and pull it straight out. And then we're going to disconnect all the cables. One of these on each side is for the motor. And there's two cables on the other side. And now the lighter unit lifts out. The last two screws we need to take out are the two holding down the blower fan. And then this whole plastic cover here that's holding the wheels in place will come out. And these are also the same screws as the ones on the bottom, so they can go in the same pile. Now, you might have to push out on this a little bit, but the blower motor will come out. You can push this off to the side and then pull up on here. Put your fingers here and pull up. Oh. I made an oopsie. There's actually two other screws here before this whole unit will come out. See there, it's starting to lift up. And these are also the same screws as all the other ones, which I appreciate. So there we go. You can see it's wanting to lift up now. We can go ahead and lift this up and these two springs will come out. These have to go back in. So I just like to lift this up and these screws are also the same. There's one on each side and these can go in our pile. Now we want to take each motor out and I'm going to show you guys how to do one. I'm going to do the other one off screen, but it's really easy to change this out. All you have to do is lift this out and you're going to take a Torx bit, unscrew this right here. And then this wheel will come out and we slide the new one in and then reassemble the unit. It's really simple. Now, I believe these use a T15. Yes, they do. So I'm going to unscrew this screw. And then slide the broken wheel out just like that. And I've already gone through and greased these previously. So I'm going to just go ahead and clean this up here. You see there's a little bit of hair in there that it picked up from vacuuming. So if you're wondering why the vacuum's in a completely different place is because the wheels I had printed, whoever designed them did not make the hole tight enough around here so I had to redesign them. But now I got the correct ones in. I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel assembly Put the new printed wheel in place here. I'm going to put the screw that holds it in. I'm going to screw this in and make sure this turns nice and smooth. All right, the wheel's in there. And it's turning perfectly. So with the original wheel I had in here, when you would turn it, you would skip teeth because they're worn out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video because it's kind of boring. I'm going to change the other wheel and put this back together and we're going to see how it drives because before it would be all over the place because the wheels would be skipping teeth and now with the new wheels they're actually running as they should. All right so I got the needle all back together. You can see our new printed replacement wheels. That one runs nice and smooth. So is this one. So I'm going to go throw this in the theater room where its dock is, we're gonna see how it cleans. All right, so this is the first run after replacing the wheels. Before I did this, 
it would just air her out most of the time coming off the dock. And she looks like she's navigating really well, actually. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. These actually have a LiDAR system on the top. That's where the hump is. So it's scanning the room, but it is working way better. It would constantly air her out. It wouldn't even be able to get out from underneath the pinball machines there. And so I'm gonna let this do a cleaning run and I think we can call this a success. And this is one of the things I love about 3D printing is I took this vacuum that works really well and I was able to fix it. Um, I also replaced the O-ring for the side brush since that wasn't working too well. But this should give me many more years of life out of here. And if these wheels break, I just print new ones. So hope this video is helpful. As always, happy printing.